rainfall, temperature, wind, humidity, pressure, cloud cover. These are key weather elements that we can observe. And at regular intervals each day, the observation of these elements are measured and recorded. You may wonder, what do we do with these recorded observations? Well, these detailed records are used to compile the climatology of Singapore, allowing us to study trends in Singapore's rainfall and temperature throughout the decades. They can be used to determine the frequency of extreme weather events and for the issuance of significant weather warnings for the safety of aviation and shipping. They are also needed for computer forecasting models, an indispensable tool in weather forecasting today. In Singapore, the earliest known weather observation date back to 1820, when just a shed of simple instruments was set up in Fort Canning Hill. In 1929, a full-scale meteorological station with dedicated equipment and a regular observation schedule for taking manual measurements began at Mount Faber. The station shifted to Kallang Airport in 1934 to support Singapore's growing aviation needs. Such observations have continued till today. In addition to our climate station, which we use for long-term records, we have a dense network of around 100 automated weather stations providing measurements round the clock. Let us now take a look at one of our automated weather stations. Powered by solar energy, fully automated and wireless, there are different sensors measuring wind speed and direction, rainfall, temperature and humidity. This replaces the traditional instruments requiring manual transfer of records. Data is transmitted immediately back to our central forecast office at Changi Airport, allowing our meteorologists access to the latest data in real time. You can also access this data on my ENB app and the MSS website. With such a dense network in place, we can create detailed maps showing the weather conditions across the island. Alongside the weather radar and the weather balloon, automated weather station is one of the many ways for us to observe the atmosphere and weather in Singapore. Our next few Let's Ask MSS episodes will explore in greater detail the various aspects of weather and climate forecasting. And we hope you'll join us then. Subscribe to our channels and download the My ENV app for more information. See you in the next episode.